my beloved brothers, my sisters, when calamity strikes in your life, and it has to strike at some point, when calamity strikes in your life, and it has to strike at some point, the first thing a believer should do is connect to Allah. الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُصِيبَةٌ قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ Allah describes the believers and Allah says those whom when calamity strikes, when difficulty and hardship befalls them, the first thing they say and they utter is we belong to Allah and unto Him we shall all return. So when calamity strikes, the first thing you do is you say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. I belong to Allah. What does that mean? As a believer, the fact that you know you belong to your maker, he made you, he has you here for a short time, and you are going to go back to him, that will cushion whatever difficulty you are going through. Don't think that you won't have hardship in your life. Do not think that calamity shall not strike you. It has to strike you. If not today, then tomorrow. If it has not already struck, it is coming. And if it, is, if it struck once, it may strike many times. And a lot of us have had it many times already. Guess what? It does not get any easier. It gets bigger because that is the plan of Allah. He rewards you in a greater way as time passes. You think it was simple because you lost a child. Wait until you lose three or four one time. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not test us with that. So when calamity strikes, we say we belong to Allah. We believe that we belong to Allah because a believer is such that you don't just utter words, you believe them. I don't just say, Inna lillah, and I don't even know what I'm saying. You hear about the death of a person. Isn't that calamity striking from one angle? Yes, it is. What do you say? Inna lillahi wa inna ilahi raji'un. You know what shaitan does? Shaitan makes us say that word as a spontaneous effect of having heard the news without thinking of the meaning of those words and what we are actually saying. That's what happens. So that's why we are saying, my brothers, my sisters, think of it. Who do you belong to? You belong to Allah. Do you really think as a believer, he would do something nasty to you? The answer is no. I lose my limbs. It's not nasty for me. If I have connection with Allah, that's Allah. Destiny is written. The pens have been lifted and the pages are dry. Your destiny is already there. You're going to go through tests that Allah chose for you. So take it in your stride. Inna lillah. Inna lillah. We belong to Allah. I belong to Allah. You belong to Allah. We all belong to Allah. I don't even belong to myself. That's why when you say, this is mine, this is mine, this is mine, hang on, hang on. In actual fact, you and whatever you think is yours is actually Allah's. When you came on earth, you came with zero. You suffered and struggled and fought and made enemies your whole life to get a bit of money. And then you left with nothing, zero. What was the point of that fighting? What was the point of the war? What was the point of all, the, all that toiling? If it did not bring you closer to Allah. 